We arrived in the Wild West, looking for my ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper, a legendary outlaw whose bank robberies were some of the most daring in Cooper lore. When we arrived, it took some time to locate him, but we eventually found him in prison. His arrest was the handiwork of the local sheriff, who had celebrated by posting his own picture all over town. Talk about an ego. We needed to bust Tennessee out of jail. But after some furious calculation, Bentley determined that the best way to do that was from the inside. For the first time in my career, I was going to have to let the law catch me. This could be a real challenge. Yeah, we're back with another episode of Sly 4. Before we begin, we can now travel to previous time periods using the van's time travel computer. But we can worry about that later. Right now, we got some work to do. Last time, we beat El Jefe. But there's just one problem. El Jefe was defeated, but we didn't save Ryuichi's cane, which is a shame. So now, we have some major problems. Fortunately, we're now in the Wild West in the late 19th century, and our job today? To get Sly under arrest. This could be a major doozy. I just don't know why, but it just does. <sighs> this is gonna be one hell of a thrill ride. Yeah, we're at the second world now, and we got ourselves a very long way to go. Okay, we've arrived at Cottonmouth Bluff in 1884 AD. Let's get to work with today's mission, Under Arrest. Hi, they're already rigging a noose for Tennessee, so we don't have time for a complicated plan. All my data points to one thing. The quickest route inside that prison is to get yourself arrested. Get myself arrested? I trust you, Bentley, but I'm not sure about getting locked up in this town. Sorry, Sly. It's the only way we're gonna reach Tennessee in time. There's just one problem. They're holding Kid Cooper in the maximum security wing. To get yourself thrown in there, you're gonna have to gain outlaw status. So you need to make sure you build a rep before they catch you. Otherwise, they'll throw you in with the common criminals. Ugh, you mean like jaywalkers and litterbugs? Not gonna happen. Well, around these parts, it's probably more like goat thieves and tobacco spinners. But you get the point. For starters, why don't you try defacing all those posters of the sheriff around town? That ought to put a burr under his saddle. Get it? Because we're in the old west? Well, anyway, I'll just let you get started. Two things. Bentley, you're very bad at jokes. And also, getting ourselves arrested is going to be a real doozy. Well, not really. Find a poster, make it look goofy, and move on. Just like you and I. Very nice, Sly. Not for sale. It's Puny Greenhorn. Wow, that is funny right there, Sly. Very funny. We need to find ourselves six posters and, like, desecrate them, I guess. I believe if that's Bentley's intention of getting Sly arrested, I wouldn't mind that. Though dealing with all these guards that are packing chain guns, something literally isn't right. Wow. I bet the original artist damaged his vision staring at this guy. I like it, Sly. Let's hope so. I call it counterfeit courage. <laughs> yeah, counterfeit during indeed. Interestingly enough, the sides on each rail allow you to rail slide, which can make travel a lot easier. Well, I can't say the same for how we have to go through the long routes. Ah, another poster. Let's get to work. If I was as homely as this guy, I would not hang my picture everywhere. Excellent work, Sly. I wish I could tear them down. Here's Weakling of the West. Weakling of the West? Wow. 
That is funny. Oh, I wish I could just rail slide, like, rail walk a lot faster. Though there is this. Makes it so much easier. And helps get through traffic very quickly. And it looks like I just found... Ah, great. I got instant death. If you get whacked by the train, that means you die. And that could be a really big pain in the butt. You gotta keep that in mind when you're rail sliding through the train tracks. Yeah, doesn't matter. Alright, now let's try this once again. Made it. I don't think Vane begins to describe this guy. That's a beaut, Spy. It's an improvement. I'll name this one the Homely Buckaroo. Dude, he still looks pathetic. You don't need to give him names for this sort of thing. Jeez. Yeah, now I gotta dodge all these chain gun wielding creeps so that way I can make it through unscathed. Ah, another one. What kind of sheriff puts up posters of himself? Nice work, Sly. You're a regular Picasso. I love a challenge. I call it 10 Star Loser. <laughs> 10 Star Loser? 20 Star is more like it. There we go. Last one. This guy's a real egomaniac. I think you just achieved troublemaker status, Sly. <laughs> oh, now this really chaps my head. I'm going to find this artist and bust his thumbs. And maybe his pinky. <laughs> this is Toothpick. And this guy's got a short fuse. <laughs> we definitely got under his skin, Sly. You ready for phase two? Absolutely. Apparently, the sheriff also loves lollipops. But his favorite is a particular Cuban variety, which has to be shipped in specially. Supposedly, they taste like rice and beans. Ugh, gross. Agreed. But if we clean him out, he'll have to wait weeks for the next shipment, and that should really tick him off. Rice and bean lollipops? That's just gross. I really mean it. Do people in the Old West enjoy these things? Ugh, I'm gonna be sick! But anyway, our objective is to just steal the lollipop just so we can piss off Sheriff Dumbass Toothpick. At least we know where it is. Right there. At least we can now... Oh, that was too close. And there we go. The annoying lollipop. Hmm. I bet Murray would like that lollipop. Great job! You just became a criminal fly! <laughs> A criminal isn't enough. We need to hit outlaw. And the only way we can do that is by tearing down that poster. And we gotta be right here. Alright, this is going perfectly. You'll be locked up in no time. You know, you're a little too excited about sending me to the slammer, Bentley. It's all about the job, Sly. Speaking of which, in case you hadn't noticed, this Sheriff Toothpick is his own biggest fan. In fact, it looks like he's throwing himself a festival, and it's in full swing. If you take that banner down, I'm sure it'll be the final straw. Right. Let's go rain on this guy's parade. Viva Toothpick. More like Viva Dumbass. Okay. You just need to get up to that banner. Man, I gotta watch out for these chain gun wielding guards. These guys are real pain in the butts. I can't believe this guy has an appreciation festival for himself. Okay, well, there's the banner. I just need to knock those clothespins off. Bye bye, banner. Oh, your fires, boss! That there is the scribbly, lolly demon outlaw I've been looking for! Well, amigo, <laughs> you 
you just put yourself a permanent room in this stony lonesome. <laughs> At least we get a new costume. Not that I'm complaining. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.